It's about to jump off. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark. And I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love BMF, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now tonight, we're going to be talking about BMF Season 3, Episode 5. This is my quick thoughts, early impressions. So down below, I want you guys to give me your quick thoughts, early impressions on this episode. And man, to me, this was the best episode of the season. I mean, they killed it, y'all. They killed it in this episode, the writing, it was great, the pace of the episode, and this is why I like when they don't give us too much in these trailers, because I like being surprised. I do not like getting everything right when it comes to these predictions, but of course, we did get a lot of things right in this episode, and I say we because it's not just me predicting this stuff, y'all. Y'all be leaving great clues and predictions and theories down below, and of course, I like to talk about those different clues and predictions you guys mentioned. So when this episode aired, we already knew that Stax, his days was numbered. And of course, we smoking on that Stax pack. He needed to go. And of course, Glock took him out just like it was predicted because we knew he talked entirely too much. He could not be trusted. And more importantly, they didn't even execute the game plan the right way. Of course, Meech and Terry, they still breathing, right? So it seems like that went out the window and now Glock, he's going to have a lot of people on his head in the upcoming episodes, but this episode was a straight up bloodbath. RIP to your boy, Kevin. It was real sad seeing Kevin's character go out like that. I mean, we knew his days was numbered. I told you guys when they released the official trailer, when we saw Detective Bryant and Gloria, which appeared to be at like a cemetery we already knew what time it was. I mean, what other person could it have been? We already knew it was going to be Kevin. It was sad the way that he went out. I mean, he got violated, y'all. Not just beat up, but straight up violated. And, you know, they leave those messages at the beginning and the end of the episode when stuff like this happens in this, you know, in episodes of all the shows that's on Star. So I already knew something bad was going to happen. I mean, damn, it's, it's messed up, man. The whole Kevin thing was sad. And I know Detective Bryant, I know he is going through it. And Henrietta, that just lets me know her days are numbered. He is going to take her out. That's going to be somebody that he takes out. He may just have to team up with Terry in order to do this. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. We saw that in this episode with Meech and Remy. Meech found out about the whole setup. And of course, he went to Remy trying to make a truce, at least for the time being, in order to take care of a bigger enemy, which was the MKs. I believe the same thing may happen with Detective Bryant and Terry, seeing how Henrietta is a major problem. I mean, she gotta go, plain and simple. Kevin, RIP, man, it's sad. But we know in this episode, Detective Veronica Jen, she lost her partner, Detective Amberson. I mean, this episode was a straight up bloodbath. I mean, I was like, okay, so this person is gone. Rip, he ended up getting taken out, which, you know, Meech has already told this dude to stay out of it. You know what I'm saying? Worry about the music thing. A lot of the people was, you know, talking about Rip was supposed to be like Blue Da Vinci and all that or whatever. They was comparing this character, you know, to Blue Da Vinci. Y'all know they're not going to use the real names in the, you know, in the show. But man, if that was the case, that dude went out and he went out guns blazing, leaking. And of course, we know Remy. He was in his feelings because he lost that kid. Um, I believe his name is Milton. And that dude's father was so upset. I mean, it was very emotional. And we know that Diesel, he ended up getting taken out at the very beginning of the episode. So they wasn't playing around at all. I mean, Meech, he's going to stay down in Atlanta because he did not want to run away from any of this. He said, this is my family and I'm going to stay here. I told you guys, I believe something is going to happen with Angel. In this episode, she was talking about... I don't want to lose you. She was telling Meech that. And of course, we know Meech, he clapped those cheeks once again. But I'm telling you right now, man, Rodney Greeny Green, he is not done yet. I still think he is going to be a problem. And she pretty much like hinted at that in this episode. So we're going to see if anything happens within that storyline. You guys let me know 
what y'all think is going to happen. But we know in episode five, your boy, Raw Dog Charles, he said, you know what? Let's take it up a notch. And he ended up making a song for Lucille. Of course, he went out and had a conversation with Sister Riley. And we know Estelle, she was, you know, she was there and she thought Charles was trying to hook up with Sister Riley. And she went back to Lucille. And of course, Lucille, she had that bat. She was pissed off talking about once a cheater, always a cheater. But Charles, he said, nah, I got a song for you. That's what we was talking about. We end up making this song and everything. And that man turned into one of the Isley brothers, y'all. I mean, he was singing his heart out. That boy's voice changed so quick. You could hear the auto tune. I mean, he did what he had to do to get her back for at least right now. And I guess it worked. He broke her down, y'all. Charles has been, has been trying each and every week to break Lucille down in order to get her back. He clapped those cheeks. He had a good old time. And of course, she allowed him to come back into the bed. That man was happy as I don't know what. He feels like he has, you know, the upper hand, at least as of right now. But Lucille, she is still thinking about that doctor. She had his, you know, his business card all up under the pillow. So while Charles is hooking up with her, She's thinking about Dr. Maurice. So this storyline ain't over yet. I think it's going to be something with this doctor. And maybe it's something about the doctor that we don't know yet. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see. We still got another half of the season to go. So I cannot wait to see what's going to happen next. But as I told you guys at the very beginning of this video, this episode to me was the best episode of the season. And now... I definitely cannot wait to see how everything's going to play out. I mean, all the bodies that got dropped off. Nobody really had a great episode. It was really sad for a lot of these characters. And now it's time to basically to regroup and to come back stronger. And they still got major enemies. Henrietta, she got to go. Glock, you definitely got to go. You dropping off kids and stuff like that. That can't happen. You're violating the rules of the game. So you got to get the hell up out of here and you know Remy is not going to let that slide as well as Meech it's going to be hell to pay but I want you guys to leave your theories predictions leave it all down below we're going to continue to talk about BMF I will be dropping the full recap for you guys later on in the day so stay tuned for that video but I want to thank you guys once again for all the love all the support and I will catch you on the next one but let me get up on out of here man it's your boy Mark Dark I'm out peace